Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to show you some of my anime collection and if you haven't guessed by these three items here, it is of course going to be Dragon Ball Z themed. So today we are looking at Dragon Ball Z Digitally Remastered. Now this is the DVD box set, more commonly known by certain fans and people as the orange box sets, for obvious reasons. So this is season one anyway, and there's lovely Vegeta there with his tail wrapped around him and his old purple hair with his angry face and massive, massive ears. So there's the box, I'll just show you the, the spine. This is a cardboard sleeve, I'll show you what's inside as well. Uh, just a bit of information on these as well. These did originally come out like this. They have a cardboard sleeve and then all of the inside, I'll show you those once I get to them. Um, but then they did re-release in plastic box sets, which they're exactly the same, but they're not as pretty in my opinion. I know mine's damaged, but I've used and abused it and loved it and whatnot. But yeah, the, the plastic ones, um, they're not as nice internally. It's just a standard multi-disc DVD case where you hold the discs. There's no artwork, there's no no prettiness. So yeah, I prefer these ones. So we'll just uh, we'll take off the sleeve anyway, and I'll just give you a little bit of a showcase of the back. So uh, season one, thirty nine explosive episodes on six discs, and this is the uh, the Vegeta saga. So I'll read this for you. Uh, the Saiyans are coming, the last survivors of a cruel warrior race. These ruthless villains have carved a path of destruction across the galaxy, and now they have set their sights on Earth. They will stop at nothing until they have the wish-granting powers of the seven magic Dragon Balls for their very own. With the fate of his family, friends, and the entire human race hanging in the balance, Goku, the Earth's greatest hero, must rise to meet the approaching threat. As he prepares for the fight of his life, Goku embarks on an epic journey that will take him to other worlds, pit him against new and old enemies alike, and force him to confront the dark secrets of his own past. At the end of his path, the most powerful opponent he has ever faced awaits, the evil Saiyan Prince Vegeta. And a little bit of information here, remastered in high definition and digitally restored. Widescreen transfer from the original Japanese film, so these are displayed in 16 by 9 not uh, 6x4, so nice and widescreen. Newly revised English dialogue, uh, dialogue, that's for certain episodes, what were never originally aired uh, in the English-speaking territories, and English voice track with original Japanese music. So, when you are watching these, you do have the option to watch them in full Japanese, uh, so full Japanese sub, or you can have a mixture. If you grew up on Dragon Ball Z like I did, with the American voices... But you like the Japanese soundtrack, which to be honest, I don't. I prefer the American one. Again, I grew up with it. It's all personal preference, so you like what you like. You can do that. And there is also in these a feature called the marathon feature, where you press play on a disc and it goes through all of the episodes on that disc without having to take the intro and outro breaks between episodes. So it just rolls all the way through and it's pretty awesome. So let's, uh, let's take a look inside anyway. So this is what we get inside this. All of the discs there. Nice golden artwork of Shenron just there, and this cool little thing. You get a booklet in this uh, in these uh, box sets as well. So you get hero profiles of the season, enemy profiles, episode summaries, and a history of Dragon Ball Z. Now I won't go through everything, but I'll just give you a quick uh, quick summary of what you get. So there's the hero profiles, obviously character uh, showing the uh, characters who are um, key to each season. God, Yamcha. Samartian, Chaozu, Yajirobe, Gohan. When I originally watched Dragon Ball Z, I really wanted Yajirobe to be very powerful, but he's just a massive fat letdown. But still funny. Master Roshi, Bulma, and then we get on to the enemies. Real nice artwork there as well. So there they are, the bad sayings. Raditz, Vegeta, Nappa, we all know. And also, the uh, these this set is every single episode, including the filler and a lot of Dragon Ball Z filler is god awful. So we get Princess Snake and her crappy little arc. But yeah. So here's the uh, episode summaries. Go through these. Oh god, I do remember a few of these episodes have been really terrible. One of them is I think it might be that one, an episode focusing on Yamcha and his struggle of trying to become a baseball superstar. That was pretty terrible. There's also another one where uh, when Goku is on Snake Way, on the way to King Kai's to train, he falls off Snake Way and lands in hell. So he has to have like races and challenges with uh, these two guys. I can't remember the names, but I really didn't like those episodes. And then this one ends on Friends or Foes. I think this is the one where they're um, Bulma, Gohan, 
and Krillin head off to get the Namekian Dragon Balls, but it all turns out to be a, a dream or some kind of a psychedelic trip by an alien species who just wanted to lock them in limbo and collect the Earth Dragon Balls for themselves. And then that just gives you some information about the transfer. They transferred it at 20, the original 24 frames at 2K, um, and then laid on tape at 1080p or something or other, you know, those uh, technical mumbo-jumbo. So we'll, we'll turn it over and I'll just show you what you get inside as well. So like the case, you get Vegeta, but the artwork extends to the cardboard sleeve. Then you get one of the, uh, I think that's Goku's logo off his uh, off his gi, off his battle uniform. And also at the beginning of the, of the spine there, you can see the beginning, beginning of the Dragon Ball Z artwork, which over all of the box sets, it eventually builds up into one nice Dragon Ball Z logo. So as we move along with these videos, I will show you them side by side and build it up eventually, and you'll get to see the final result in the final episode with all the box sets. So if I can slide that back in... So, there we go. Dragon Ball Z Season 1 of the Orange Box set. I would highly recommend picking these up if you can. They are a little bit pricey now. When I originally bought this, when it released back in 2006, I think I paid about £30, but I'm not too sure how much they go for now. And these cardboard sleeve ones are quite tough to find. So, if you can find a cardboard sleeve one in decent condition, I'd highly recommend getting this over the plastic case one, just because they're a better collector's item. They look a lot nicer. So... That's the video, hope you enjoyed it, please leave a like if you did enjoy it, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you loved it and stay up to date with all of my upcoming videos. I'll see you next time.